All right, you've asked for it. Now this is the latest update. Everything I could gather from the community around the latest initial staple offerings, ISPOs that are going around at the moment. These are all the ones that were submitted to me via Twitter. So I put a little call out there asking for what people are delegating to at the moment to earn these extra tokens. And this is what we got. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury. If this is your first time here, consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click that notification bell because I have a lot of juicy content for you, everything around the Cardano ecosystem. I'm also heading over to CNFT Con and Rare Bloom as well. So if you wanna know what's going on there, all these really big events in the Cardano ecosystem, I'll be trying to cover every single project that's there and, and a lot more. So <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of content coming up in the month of October, but this is the latest ISPOs for the month of September, everything I could gather. So let's get right into it. But before I do, I have a boxing match this Friday. Either I get completely knocked out or I survive uh, victoriously. But I do have some spaces on the back of the uh, t-shirt here. The front is uh, reserved for the gym itself. But at the back there, I do have spaces for logos. I'm not asking for any money for this. Just, uh, you know, if you've got a cool project that you want a logo on there, I'll chuck it on there. I'll see what I can fit in. Um, DM me on Twitter. There's a, a, a post, um, just tag yourself, uh, tag me in that post and we'll sort things out. I'll see what I can cram in there. So first things first, NewNet, they're doing their earn drop ISPO where you can delegate to all these state pools here. Let's zoom in a little bit. So all these state pools here are a part of the NewNet ecosystem. Their ISPO is going on for, I think, uh, a few, five weeks or so. I, I can't see, see here, I can't see the end date. But here we go, we start on the 27th of September. So if you start delegating to any of these particular state pools here, uh, you'll be able to earn the NTX tokens. Now this is the type of ISPO where you still earn your ADA rewards and as an extra bonus, you get the NTX tokens too. So it's working as a token distribution mechanism and you have to delegate to these operators to be actually uh, able to earn them. So there's quite a few there. We're on the list there as well. We were lucky to get uh, snuck in there. So uh, if you check out all those pools, check out uh, what the operators are doing, their margin fees, everything else around it, then you should be able to pick a really nice one. Now, I do believe it's going for, there we go, five epochs and we'd be able to claim it via the drip drops platform as well. If you're not familiar with those, lots of tutorials on the uh, YouTube channel here where you can learn how to claim through the drip drops process. Now I do believe we can uh, claim right at the end so we can earn all the tokens and claim uh, in one go at the end. So that was a really good one to check out. Next one, I'll try and get these through these as quickly as possible because there's uh, about 18 tabs open. So let's go. Now the next one here is Scat Dow. So Scat Dow are doing uh, smart contract audit token. So uh, there it is, the name's right there on the screen. But these guys do decentralized auditing of smart contracts in the Cardano ecosystem. So if you're want, not wanting to rely on those third party uh, uh, auditors that are doing the audits at the moment, you may want to use a decentralized method where the community actually jumps in and audits the uh, particular smart contracts too. So there's lots of options for projects to go through and ScatDAO is one of them that is doing that uh, particular process. Now their ISPO helps fund these particular audits. So uh, if you delegate to their pool, you get some of their audit tokens in return. This is a 100% margin pool, which means you give up all your ADA rewards, not your ADA that you delegate to the pool, you give up the rewards. So all you have to do is look for the pool ticker audit uh, and then start delegating and you'll get uh, a portion of the uh, tokens here. So 0 0.4 audit tokens per ADA delegated uh, per epoch. So you, uh, it's, a, it's a fairly uh, nice distribution. So for a thousand ADA dele delegated, you get 40 audit tokens per epoch. Now they're using those tokens to provide liquidity to various DEXs 
And the, the trading fees that come out of that is what they use to fund their audits within the ecosystem. So it's a nice self-sustaining mechanism there where they have their little treasury within liquidity so that they can fund these audits and try and keep the Cardano ecosystem as secure as possible by auditing every last single smart contract out there. Well, hopefully every single uh, smart contract, but you know they need our support to be able to do that. The next one here is ADAO. ADAO are building the decentralized uh, autonomous organization tools for the Cardano ecosystem. So it's a, a pretty cool ambitious project where they're building all the smart contracts to run treasuries and DAOs for various projects. And they're open sourcing all of these tools so that any project can pick up whatever they develop and start running their own DAO. So they don't have a stake pool, but you can get their particular tokens and provide liquidity on a DEX and then stake those liquidity tokens within their platform here. Um, that is a tutorial about it. So it's a little bit different in how it works, but you earn the extra token rewards based on staking your liquidity pool tokens within their platform here. So it's a little bit of a, a different twist on uh, staking uh, for what people are used to, but I thought I would mention this one here because it's uh, quite an interesting mechanism that they put in. Now there's a bit of GameFi being developed on the Cardano ecosystem as well, and some of the projects are looking quite nice. This is AdaQuest. They do have a stake pool called Quest. So if you find that one, um, I couldn't find the details and updates in regards to uh, their token distribution around this. Uh, their saturation is a little bit low, but it should be able to mint. You can see the mint history here. They're still minting. Uh, but if you support their stake pool, they'll be able to earn that little bit of extra um, ADA on top of uh, what um, is going through the pool. So they've got a fairly small margin, but they'll earn a little bit of ADA there for each block that they mint. And you in return will get, I think it was quest tokens, uh, and that powers their game fight ecosystem as well. So I'll try and find the details of that and put it in the links down below. Uh, and uh, you can look into that one if you want to delegate to it. This one here, the number one meme coin on the Cardano ecosystem, good old Hosky. This is a tutorial written um, to give you a really good overview and guide on how to actually pick and delegate to one of the Hosky pools. I think it's called rug pools uh, to be able to earn some of these Hosky tokens. So if we go down here, you can see a, a list of all of the particular pools here. There are quite a few of them to go through. So, uh, you know, take a pick. Um, they're all detailed there. They've got a little bit of information about them as well. But you'll be able to delegate to one of those pools, earn the tokens, and then you claim them through the Drip Drops uh, uh, platform. I believe that's uh, where you claim them through. So if you're into some of these, uh, these uh, meme coins, uh, Hosky is probably a good one to look into. So IMX is the next one I like to talk about and they've been running their ISPO for a little while now. Now their ISPO, their state pool actually funds the entire development of their project. So uh, they are cash flow positive from this particular ISPO, which is absolutely amazing. So it it's, goes to show how valuable these um, ISPOs are for the Cardano ecosystem and projects that are building on Cardano itself. Having these successful um, uh, state pools running at a uh, hundred percent margin for like this one is, uh, can really help provide the funds that are needed to develop these protocols. So they're going through and uh, running their ISPO. Now there's little bonuses here. So if you delegate for a certain period of time, you get to extra bonus rewards through that as well. So I think I've been delegating for quite a while now. So I might be at one of these level five, Blast Off to the Moon, 50 epochs. Oh, uh, hang on. Yeah, that's, that's uh, two thirds of a year, maybe. No, well, it hasn't reached that long yet. So they only launched in the middle of the year. So it wouldn't uh, be that uh, that long until the end of the year at least. But you can see you can earn those extra rewards there if you delegate for a really long time. So you get those extra bonuses. So I think it's a pretty cool, pretty uh, innovative way of going through and uh, doing an ISPO and rewarding those long-term delegates as well to various pools. Goki is the next one here. Goki are looking at uh, working through the real estate market and making housing more affordable. I did an interview with these guys as well. Uh, well, any project I've done the interview with, check out the links in the top right hand corner there and you can find out a little bit more about the project, but uh, their ISPO is going on as well. It looks like they're going okay. They're minting blocks. They're getting a few more delegates through. So the delegate number is increasing as well. This dashboard, if you didn't notice, is actually built with Cardano Press as well. So it's the uh, dashboard that uh, we built out for 
projects that want to run their own ISPO. Uh, you've got their own little delegation uh, section here and also a rewards calculator, which built into the dashboard. So if you're interested in that, running your own ISPO or having this kind of dashboard running up on your website, you can contact me and we'll help you get one set up for you as well. Cardania are running their ISPO as well. So this one here is to distribute their uh, gaming tokens, the, the tokens within their ecosystem. So the summoning pool is a source of power for all Cardania and fights the forces of darkness. So you can stake your ADA uh, there at their particular pool. The margin is the margin and cost fees are uh, essentially 2% and the standard uh, Cardano network fees. Uh, but you earn the summon tokens, the uh, SUMN tokens for their pool, and it's part of their ecosystem there as well. So if you're interested in some more game fire, this is another one to check out. It's uh, interesting to see how these games are developing, and fingers crossed, we're going to see more of these launch by the end of the year. Adana has been going on for a little while now. So this started back in, I think it was. May, May, earlier this year in May, uh, they had a bonus staking uh, period and now they're going through uh, a longer term uh, staking process to the end of 2022. Now, they were criticized in regards to how many Dana tokens that people were earning. So they only had 2.5 million Dana tokens distributed and there are quite a few people delegated for this particular token distribution. And as a result, the rewards that they get are quite small and a lot of people are upset. They have increased that 2.5 to 4 million. So it should essentially double what you see in that particular token distribution process. So have a look at your particular uh, token allocation uh, that you may be able to claim from Tossy Drop. I did a, um, a tutorial about that as well. Links in the top right hand corner there if you want to find out more. Uh, but um, they should be a little bit more increased and you can also wait to the very end of the period as well to claim those particular tokens. If you're still not happy with it, you are more than welcome to move elsewhere and find other opportunities such as any of these other ISPOs that I'm going through. Uh, th now, now, not to leave out the small state pool operators in the ecosystem. Now, some of them are doing really cool and innovative stuff where you can delegate to their state pool earn your ADA rewards, but then also earn a little bit extra on the side of a different token, different protocol token. And in this case, Hugpool is giving away meld tokens as well as part of the process of staking to their pool. So they're doing their own calculations. They reward their uh, delegates with ADA and meld tokens, which is really cool. It's a nice little innovation that some of these single state pool operators are doing. So they may be using their awards to buy some meld tokens, extra meld tokens, and then redistributing it to uh, their delegates. So that's a nice little touch for uh, small single state pool operators. Igon is a platform that is doing decentralized computing and storage. I think storage is their main play at the moment and they have their ISPO going on. Now their tokens are part of their ecosystem so you can use it for a utility token within the platform and I think payments as well. So you can delegate to their um, pools here, the IAG1, and you'll be able to earn their tokens uh, through that particular ISPO. Now the Gens2 uh, pool has been converted over to the Genius Yield multi-token ISPO, which I'll talk about in a second as well. So I believe it's only the IAG1 pool that you can delegate to at the moment to earn their uh, tokens within their ecosystem. Now the Ineta BTC LISO liquidity initial stake offering, I think that's what it stands for. This one's been going on for quite a while as well. They've gone through stage three, phase three now, where you can actually earn a little bit extra by staking your NFT in your wallet at the same time. So it's a little bit of a bonus reward there as well. Uh, they've got some interesting mechanisms which keep on changing. I did an interview with uh, Frosty or Austin from Ineta BTC. You can check out in the top right hand corner there to find out a little bit more about that one and an update around their project in general too. The Art Bank is a really interesting project that is doing their uh, ISPO or staking rewards too. So you, all delegates will receive 25 Monet tokens per thousand ADA stakes per epoch. So those tokens are part of their ecosystem and their ticker is T 
T-A-B, Tab or The Art Bank. And you can find out more information on it from their website, theartbank.io. Now, these guys are from, from our fingers crossed, we can get them to organize a CNFT gallery, so an in-person gallery with the screens at the Cardano Summit here in Brisbane. Uh, so it'd be really cool to have these guys uh, do that in real life uh, gallery with the artists there as well. So I'm pretty excited about uh, what these guys can do for us uh, in regards to that. So if you if you are in Brisbane, please come along and check out our NFT gallery, which we'll be putting up at the Cardano Summit. Cardalonia ISPO starts in October. Now, Cardalonia, what on earth is that? It's a Web3 play to earn game on Cardano. So there's another game by one here and you'll be able to earn the Lonia tokens uh, by delegating to their particular state pool. So it's a part of their, their tokens are part of their ecosystem for the GameFi that they're doing there as well. Uh, they're doing the whole land sale, the uh, metaverse kind of play. So if you're interested in more GameFi stuff, check out Cardalonia as well. Now the Summon platform also have an ISPO and they're doing some really cool things around DAO tooling as well. So it's kind of like a ADAO where they're doing uh, the open source tooling there, whereas Summon DAO are building the uh, platform for voting and a lot of projects can use it that way as well. So it's a very complex one. I believe they're doing the smart contracts, everything around that as well. But you can also delegate to their ISPO. Here's our ISPO calculator at the top here. You can find out exactly how many rewards you can earn from that and you can delegate to their pool a DAO so you can earn those particular tokens. Now Valhalla Pool is, is another single state pool operator that's doing some interesting things with their state pool delegation. So they have a treasury where they own uh, these various tokens and these various NFTs. Now every epoch they draw up five lucky winners and based on those winners they earn these extra little bits and pieces through their uh, treasury. So it's a cool little mechanism so let, let's have a look at here. So uh, one ticket equals one raffle entry every 10k states you get one ticket. Uh, so that, okay so there's a little bit of math there and then if, every epoch um, they will draw those tickets and someone will win those extra little bonuses there. So again, I like that kind of innovation from state pool operators doing something a little bit cool, a little bit uh, innovative to gain that extra delegation. Now, Project Noom's ISPO is ongoing as well. And what they're doing is making a music streaming marketplace. Uh, and they're essentially trying to disrupt what Spotify are doing, but taking it a step further where they're also uh, decentralizing the ownership of the music rights as well and allowing that to be traded on a marketplace. So really cool idea, a little bit innovative, very different. I don't think anyone else in the entire Web3 industry are doing what they're doing. Um, so it's a really interesting mechanism. Now you can delegate to their stake pool as well. And they have two stake pools that you can delegate to. So uh, the new pool and then new MX. Noom X, uh, there was one pool with a 25% margin fee and then the other one with a 50% margin fee. So the reward distribution is a little bit different for either of those. Check out, so check out the website if you're interested in this one. Also check out the interview I did with Ryan Jones as well in the top right hand corner there. And you'll be able to find out a little bit more about the project and what they're trying to achieve. Now this one here I absolutely love because these guys are an alliance that are fighting climate change and they're doing it via their SPO. So if you delegate to any of the uh, climate neutral Cardano state pool, uh, you'll be able to earn the tokens through their ecosystem and those uh, uh, liquidity that is earned or the ADA tokens that are earned are, is helping to reforest uh, parts of Madagascar. So it's a really cool initiative that they're doing there to really help with the ecosystem and fight climate change as well. So it's, uh, it's a really cool one. I really like this one. Um, please check out the links and find out a little bit more. I'll put all the links in the show notes for you. Flack Finance is another one that's still ongoing too. Um, if you want to see the interview with this one, I have the interview there in the top right hand corner for you. You can find out a little bit more about the project, but their ISPO is ongoing. Now the saturation levels for the pool is quite low at the moment, so plenty of room to delegate to either of these ones if you want to go for the uh, the full 100% margin or the 50% margin pool. Now these guys 
Um, if you don't know Flack Finance, they actually uh, built Cardano Scan, probably the most popular um, chain explorer on the Cardano ecosystem, as well as a wallet called Typhon Wallet, which is very, very user friendly, but also comes with an advanced version as well. So they've done both of those uh, particular experiences. So these guys know what they're doing. They've built wallets, um, uh, the Chain Explorer, the Cardano Explorer, and now they're also building a DeFi protocol too. So they um, are quite experienced, but please check out that uh, interview that I did with the team there so you can find out a little bit more. Now, the last one I have here is the one from Freeloaders. They're doing a promotional staple offering or a PSPO. Just like to change up the acronyms a little bit. So any of these state pools here that uh, you can see in the list, you'd be able to delegate to and earn some of their uh, governance tokens, the FLZ token. Uh, now this is all a part of their uh, ecosystem where it controls the smart claims uh, platform. So smart claims is another one of those token distribution and claiming platforms such as tossy drop or drip drops and smart claims is another one. I do have an interview with the team coming up as well. So please hit that uh, thumbs up, subscribe notification bell and you'll hear that one when it comes out. But they're talking, uh, but they're also doing the meld bank manager NFT distribution, which is over 40,000 NFTs being distributed to all the uh, uh, mailed holders that are part of that ecosystem. So a lot of people in that one, it's a very big token distribution and their platform will be doing it. So it's a really uh, good one to get behind and uh, find out a little bit more and how that one all works. Now, that is it. That is all of the ISPO updates that I have for you guys. There was quite a few there to go through. I tried to go through them as quickly as possible so you know what's going on in the ecosystem. Now it's up to you guys to do the research behind all these projects, dive in a little bit deeper and find out exactly what they're doing. Some of these projects will be at CNFT Con and also at Rare Bloom as well. So if you have the opportunity to actually go to some of these events, please, please do talk to the projects, learn a little bit more about what they're doing. These are real people, real docs people that are building really cool things in the ecosystem. So go ahead, check them out, find them uh, at these live events and uh, engage with them so you can really support what they're doing. Now I'll be there at both of those events as well, as well as organizing the Cardano Summit in Brisbane, the community led one in Brisbane. So check out all the links down below if you're interested in that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's coming up really, really soon. That's it for me for this video. If you enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell and you'll hear more from me real soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast Gotta get it hype, crypto is what we like But this is not investment or financial advice Gotta do your research, cause it's risky, we know it is This show is educational and it's informative Crypto's the future, really it ain't no debate